Aloha, welcome everybody to this video. Today's video, we're going to see how do these microphone adapters, how do these two microphone adapters right here work in my hand? How do these two microphone, how do these two microphone work on? Yeah, we're going to hear how they sound mid video, so sit back, relax. Let's sit back and relax and let's see which, which, which one of these, which one of these sound the best with a microphone. All right. This is the Rode video mic me, so let's hook this into the audio, and you should hear a difference. Because right now we're just using a cell phone's built-in mic, there is no mic adapter here hooked into it, so let's just put this in right now. If you guys should hear a noticeable difference, the moment I put this in to the cell phone's, to the cell phone's earphone jack. Just gotta carefully hook it up. Yeah, sorry about all the movement. Your cell phone balance and it doesn't fall over. It doesn't fall over. And the IO should magically should have switched to the row feed of my me. Me thinks should sound slightly different. But right now, sitting here on the table, we have all my collection of mics from the digital, from the digital recorder, from the digital recorder. You have the digital recorder right here. one of my old ways to record audio but sadly it's not compatible with a cell phone so let's move on you have a usb powered microphone with a very usually usb power with a very stupid echo feature on it which is one of the things i wouldn't use which is one thing i wouldn't use because it requires a usb power source to run this microphone and and the mic quality isn't all that great from what I hear. It's a microphone I got off eBay for 30 bucks. It's not really the best microphone in the world you could use. Let's see here. We have a USB headset, which the Y, see this Y splitter should allow you to use any one of these mics. The mic splitter should allow you to use any one of these mics. Mics anyway. Here you would just simply hook that into your mic output, put that into the cell phone, and there you go. That would it would switch over the audio where this record right now. Now I don't know the I don't, I don't know the open camera app I'm using is going to switch the audio every time I insert a different mic, but here's probably one of the better mics that a lot of people are a blue. It's a blue snowball. It's a blue snowball microphone. Now, obviously, it's USB powered, and there's nothing else. There's nothing else. It's not really made to go with a cell phone. I kind of wish they would have made it with. It's made to this. To this immediately grab power from the USB. It's made to grab a USB. It's made to power on from the USB I/O source. It comes in handy, that's what it needs to do, but is it the microphone of choice I probably use in all my recordings with three different mic settings? Three mic settings? Probably not. Probably not with something I want to record on the cell phone. I mean, it's a great microphone in it all. This is a very cheap, this is a very cheap condenser mic that I got off eBay for like, I don't know, 19 bucks. It's not all that great sounding. It is what it is. It's probably the microphone I wouldn't use to record on and all that. I mean, it's great as a mic adapter, but it says it's a mic, but, but probably if you were to ask me, I wouldn't use it all that much. It's just not that great. The audio quality can range all over the place. And finally, finally. Finally, we have my shotgun. Yeah, you have a shotgun mic. You, those of you who don't know a shotgun mic, it's made to go on the cam. It's made to hook up to a camera. It's made to hook up to a camera, DSLR camera, or something like that. Right now. Most people say it's a great way to help with wind resistance outside, but I'm not recording outside. We're in an inside environment. We're just recording inside. So, yeah. I just want to show you guys my collection of mics. So let's unhook the Rove video. Let's unhook the Rove. 
video mic and go back to the camera's default audio for a second. I know, trying to unhook that. And let's switch over to the shotgun microphone. Oh, we're shotgun microphone. We're shotgun microphone. We need a point. We need a point, shit. Directly. We need to point the microphone directly at our audio source. So, at our audio source. And, and all we gotta do is like, grab this microphone very slowly. If it's on, connect that to connect that to the cell phone earphone adapter, and it should immediately start grabbing the audio. And know uh, the barrier is shaky since by the camera can I have to grab it. I have to make sure the camera is leaned up against something. And there. It should switch over to the shotgun microphone. It should switch over. If the adapter works mid IO. Yeah. I just wanted to show off my collection of microphones and figure out which one you think would be the best. The USB power mic. After unboxing this Rode video mic, I just wanted to show off. And hopefully. I recommend you watch this video with a pair of earphones on to figure out which microphone sounds the best uh, up close and personally. So I just was just in trying to prove better mic audio. Maybe you might have liked the part of the video when I hooked up this. When I hooked up this. Maybe you might have liked the way the audio sound when I was using this anyway, the rogue video mic adapter. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I'm just about done. I'm going to start recording, so I'll probably catch you next video. See you later next time.